Hey everybody, welcome back to Motion Brain. In this very short tutorial, I want to show you how to create very fast, simple skyscrapers with much more freedom than the last one I showed you before. And yeah, let's go into cinema. I created with a spline the shape of the building, drag the spline into the loft run, copy that, pull it up to 50 centimeters here. After that, I'm going to copy that one, turn it off and press C on this loft run, select all three parts, um, connect the object and delete it, select the point view, press Ctrl A to select everything and optimize it. After that, we're going to delete the phone tag and the polygon selection. And now we can activate the loop selection by pressing um, UL and make sure your normal maps here are orange. And now we can select the middle part and create the windows like this. And I always change them into the modeling view and select the matrix extrusion. If you want to get the window frame look, I change the settings in the matrix extrude. I change the steps to one, the move parameters to zero, the scale to 90 and the rotation all to zero. And now we just need to set the selection and rename it to Windows. After that, I, gone, I want to extrude it by minus three. And now we have our Windows. And now you can, but you don't have to, create the balcony. Select the other part press D and pull it up by 20 and by 3. Select this part here, press D again and pull it up to let's say something like this, yeah. And now what you have to do is um, create a cloner object down in the drop down menu MoGraph, cloner object drag your loft object into the cloner one, make sure you have here 50 and this is the same number like the size of your building or your first floor. And now you can decide how tall your building should be, let's say 20 floors. And now we just need um, a ground level so we turn our loft object on, put it down to 50. And what we need now is two textures. I created one texture by turning on the transparency, changing the reflection to 1.52 and create a building color. And now we drag the the material window, the window material down to the windows and the building te texture down to the loft one and pull it up to the first place here and also give the color um, and also drag the material down to the loft object and now you're done you have created your own building to the end, I want to show you how to change the size or the shape of the building. Let's select both objects, press Alt and G and name it Building 1. Copy that, this one here, rename it to Building 2 and change the clone object to let's say 10 floors. Maybe turn it around. Oops like this one you turn it around and yeah that's all 
you can create this building and very different ways. Um, you can use all kinds of splines like the cogwheel, the star or the flower one. Um, if you want to have something special, you should use the pen tool. If you want to change the shape of the building, you can convert the clone object. Right click onto your clone object, select, select the children and connect object. Now we press Ctrl A to select all polygons, right click optimize it. Like the tutorial before, we can create um, different shapes by using this kind of tools here. Let's go and choose the table one, fit to parent and change the size of the shape and change the shape by changing the strength. And let's go and take the twist one, drag it down, fit to parent and twist it. Tiny bit like 45 degrees. Let's create very fast a physical sky. Take this one and this present here and um, change our render settings to ambient occlusion and global animation and um, press render. I hope you liked it and leave a comment, subscribe and yeah, see you next time.